Kreskin, and of course you know me as the amazing Kreskin. I'm continuing this week with what's on your mind, not so much what's on my mind, because we got such an array of suggestions from you folks that I want to capture them from time to time. Keep sending me an area, even if it's only a sentence or two, that you're curious about. This particular one that I'm addressing today is from Candace Chu. She got it on YouTube, and this is her message to me. I'm concerned about censorship and the cancel culture's effect on original thought and freedom of speech. And boy, that captures a major issue in our culture today, folks, I'll tell you. She continues, what's really behind all the divisiveness in society right now? What really is driving the animosity? And how can we reestablish civility? Well, Candace, I want to suggest to you that don't let this overwhelm you. Uh, one of the key factors involved is something called money. That's right, you heard me, money. Who would have ever dreamt that a very famous resort area now no longer allows people to use the phrase ladies and gentlemen? And the phrase boys and girls is discouraged even from their videos that they do. That it reached that particular point of censorship and it's suggesting within us a constrictiveness that we've got to worry about how we're speaking, what we're saying, and so forth. I, my advice to you is that if you ever become involved in an organization that has that kind of censorship, leave the organization. Go on with something healthier because it's going to expand into other areas. You see, as groups find that they can control the way we think and so forth, they can they'll sell products, they can endorse products, they can induce us to invest in certain areas that are to their favoritism. Who in the world, what group on earth would ever suggest that we should no longer use the phrase ladies and gentlemen? And I say that to you and all the viewers right now, all you ladies and gentlemen. The situation is that we are now becoming constricted in the way we think so that we can be criticized or looked down upon and what have you and narrowed. There are organizations that will censor your participating and using a phrase, even if you want to get a message across and part of the phraseology is not in agreement with them. Stay away from these groups. This is not the American spirit. And certainly this is not the experience of show business because God forbid comedians have to continue to worry about the comedy that they ensue in because they are censored and more and more comedians are getting more and more disgusted with this. We've got to be able to joke about almost anything, whether it's religion, whether it's politics, whether it's the people next door, providing we do it good naturedly and providing we chuckle and share in our enthusiasm and our laughter. The um, ladies and gentlemen, by the way, and the phrase, other similar phrases, are ideas and ways I've been speaking all my life and your parents have as well. Do yourself a favor, kid about things, joke about things, sample things that maybe even you're not that enthusiastic about. And if you see a movie that you don't care for, share the reason you don't care for it with your friends, but don't criticize them for enjoying the movie. That's the beauty of a movie and songs, that you can share it with others or you don't have to listen to it. And it doesn't bother you that others enjoy it as well. That's my advice. That's the way to begin things. And listen to what others have to say. Taste their food. You may not care for it. You can express that you don't as well, but you don't condemn and censor them for such feelings. That is not the American spirit, is it, to be continued.